Okay. So uh, we're almost finished. Sorry, I'm just um, filling around. We're in section G. We're in question four now. And for um, watchers of the other videos, you'll notice that at the bottom of the screen, I don't have those annoying uh, little sections that can tell me which program I'm doing. In fact, they are still up there, but I've just, if you're really smart, you'll notice that actually your screen space here is smaller by a few pixels in order not for that to flash up in the videos. Um, so I solved that problem. So down here below where the mouse is now, all the program uh, uh, titles aren't flashing up anymore, which is really irritating me, which is good. However, we do have this old uh, speech bubble back, which is really nice. I'm really pleased by that. So um, that might go away at some point. If not, we've got open browser to screencastomatic.com. So I don't really want to do that. We can move it around, but I kind of like it uh, popping out the Holyfield symbol. Oh, it's gone. No, nope, we're back. Okay. A little bit distracted. Let's go with the question. I'm thinking of two numbers. The first number is X. The second number is 7.5 more than X. X plus 7.5. For the two numbers, the product is double the sum. Well, I can't the numbers I could be thinking of. So there are numbers. X and x points uh, x plus 7.5 so it says the product of the numbers that means the multiply so the product of the numbers x plus sorry x multiplied by x plus 7.5 the product is double the sum so it's the same as having two lots of x plus x plus 7.5 Oh, it's still a bit distracting because I can still see the program titles flashing up here, even though you can't. So, but anyway, so then let's just expand all this and sort it all out. So, what do we get? We get x squared plus seven point x is equal to two. Well, that's two x. Two lots of two x is really four um, x plus fifteen. So let's rearrange this. So we've got x squared um, plus 7.5x minus 4x gives us 3.5x and that is equal to, oh, so minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay. So, well, I don't really like this 7.5, I might rewrite on this. I much prefer things to be written as fractions. So every time we see 7.5, I kind of prefer algebraic form of 15 over 2. 15x over 2 or 15 over 2x. And that means then we have 3.5x, that's really 7 over 2x. Okay. So we're solving the quadratic. So often, if you've got a really annoying coefficient of x squared, we can sub uh, divide through by a number to make our numbers easier. As we've got a fraction here, why don't we multiply through? So we have 2x squared, multiply everything by 2, plus 7x minus 30 is equal to 0. And then, that means uh, we're solving this quadratic equation here. Equal to naught. If you need to go back and use the grid or go back and look at one of the other videos, um, I'm going to have a 2x and an x. I need to make 7x. Ah, okay, so if I have plus 7x, I have a plus 6 here and a minus 5. The product of these two is minus 30, but when I add it, that makes plus 12 minus 5. Okay, good. That works. So I know 2x minus 5 is 0, or I know that. Uh, x plus 6 is equal to 0. So I know that 2x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 5 over 2. You could say 2.5 but I like it in fraction form or x is equal to minus 6. And then my answers. So it says give two possible pairs of numbers. Ah, so I've not done yet. Well I've got numbers I could be thinking of. So if x is minus 6 my two numbers could be the pair could be 
minus 6 and add on 7.5 is plus 1.5 and the other pair of numbers and I have not answered the question is 5 over 2 which is 2.5 um, and 10 they're the pairs of numbers I can have so this answer feeds into there and this answer feeds into there okay